In order to schedule an appointment for a dentist or a hygienist, that provider must be entered into the setup under the provider screen. So if you don't see the provider that you want to schedule an appointment for, then that, prob that provider probably has not been entered. So from the appointment book, I'm going to go down to my system tray to the patient screen, come here to setup, and go here to providers per office settings. I'm going to come here to ensure that the provider number one has been entered into the system and so the one that I want to schedule for is Mary Smith. So I see that she has been entered into the system but there is another screen full of information that needs to be um, entered for her. So I want to make sure that she's also been entered either as a dentist or as a hygienist which she uh, has. So the next thing I want to do is go to providers per office settings. So, so far so good. The provider has been added. The provider is listed as a dentist or a hygienist, but there's another criterion in order to schedule an appointment that must be met here in the setup under providers per office setting. So I'm going to click on my provider and then the specific office that I want to work with and I'm going to click edit because from this screen this is where we can put in production goals, not that that has anything to do with appointments, but that's interesting as well because each appointment that is scheduled can compare the production scheduled compared to the production goals. The schedule itself, we need to make sure that the provider has been given hours to work within. If this, is inf if this information is correct, we can leave it alone. If it is not, then modify. For instance, if the provider does not work on Wednesdays, then just dash out those times for that day. If the provider works different hours, let's say on Thursday, she works a little bit later, she doesn't start until 2 o'clock, then we can change that information here. She works from 2 to 6 and she's taking her lunch hour, not at all. So once you've modified and edited the schedule, you can move on to holidays. Notice I'm not going to save until I'm done with this entire section. Holidays would be the days off that the specific provider has, not regarding the office, but the specific provider. So for instance, vacation days. Let's say this provider is going to take off a couple of days for the Thanksgiving holiday. So I choose the date from the calendar. I put in that this is a vacation day. Yes, the provider is out of office. Don't forget to click Add here. Then you'll know you've done it correctly when you see the holiday or the day off or the vacation listed above. Continue on. In this case though, in order to schedule an appointment for my provider, I need to make sure that this provider has been assigned a room, a chair, or an operatory. So in this case, I'm going to say that Mary Smith works out of chairs 1 and 2. If you do not see the chair for your provider listed here, you will have to go to Setup offices and then go to the operatories tab to add the operatories in order to be able to come here and assign those chairs or rooms to that provider. You cannot enter a production schedule until you have assigned operatories and save. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Finally, I can click save to save all the changes that I made for this provider, which included setting up the operatories, indicating holidays or vacation days, modifying his or her schedule, and if I wanted to, putting in the production. I'll show you how to put in a production schedule in a separate module, but now that I've edited this information in provider per office settings, I can now see this provider in my appointment book. So I just refresh the screen, and then when I click on my provider menu, I'll now see that Mary Smith is available in my pull-down list to schedule appointments in her rooms 1 and 2.